Hey, everybody. Welcome to Down for Dell, Episode 8, Time Flies, when you're having fun and making music. I'm just going to noodle around here a bit, and then uh, play a couple of tunes, see where we get. All right. Thank you. 
the jam thing. That was called the jam thing in A for all you guitar players out there, music fans. Let's see what else do we have here in the in the uh, swing. To, oh, maybe some cut time. This is called cut time, or uh, or a train shuffle, or train groove, or one two one, maybe a two four, or something like that. Doesn't matter what it's called, as long as it works and is listenable. Let's give it a shot here. Key of E. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa. Oh, yeah, this has got a funny backup. Let's get a letter rip. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, that was a bit of a country-flavored uh, cut-time groove. Um, you may have seen me play, for you guitar players out there, or musicians or fans that may be interested, there's a very simple note thing happening here. That note right there is uh, called the flat five. And when you play the flat five, when you play the flat five, it gets really dark and bluesy. And many, many years ago, if I'm not mistaken, people from, uh, from the church from a long time ago in the southern U.S. referred to that flat five kind of music as the devil's music. But then it became rock and roll and everybody had a great time afterwards. So devil's music. All right, what else we got here? Perhaps, uh, perhaps I'll put on my slide guitar this is uh, I call this my slide guitar because I tune it to uh, a special tuning just a very simple uh, open tuning this one happens to be open E uh, for you music theory students, that's a one three five one. Just a simple major chord. Da, 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 da. Tune to open chord. That way, I can strum a big chord and I can play my slide, which is this glass tube thing. Uh, it comes in many variations. It could be metal. I have all kinds of them hanging around my studio here, but this one is glass. I simply slide on my guitar, like so. I'm going to try a shuffle this time. Shuffle groove. Uh, the shuffle groove is based on triplets. One, two, three, 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 over a four, four beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. That's a shuffle groove. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
That was the blues shuffle, key of D, open D. Uh, since uh, I'm sure there are new students in 2024, of course, um, I've talked about this before, but perhaps uh, it would be a good idea to talk about it again for you new folks, new students. So I use a, an open D tuning, this black thing here, uh, people mistake it this for uh, one of those hard, hard rock wang bar Kaler uh, uh, hard rock things for going but it's not really that it's just simply a piece of hardware that has three different positions on each string so that I can switch tunings one string has three one two three I'll show you in a second uh, so I use that to make it a little bit more convenient to change between open tunings uh, I should probably mention also technique wise that uh, a guy named Dwayne Allman many many years ago sadly passed away a young man at the age of 24 I believe but he was an innovator with uh, the slide style of guitar and when I was a kid a teenager I heard him playing a little bit like this and I didn't know what was going on and how, how a guitar player could play like that. I didn't know anything about slide guitar at all or open tunings. Uh, then someone told me about slide, guitar, uh, about slide guitar and I tried to learn to play that particular tune. It was called Statesboro Blues by a group from the southern United States, uh, Macon, Georgia mostly, but Florida. Uh, they played all around and became very famous, but the name of that particular song was called Statesboro Blues, uh, and it had that unique style of slide guitar that no one ever played like that before. Uh, this guy, Duane, was influenced by many great artists, but the technique he developed was totally unique in the way he played his notes and slid towards his notes back and forth, blah, blah, blah. So I learned, uh, or I, I attempted to learn to play like that, not knowing that it was in an open tuning, and uh, I, I struggled. Uh, and then one day a friend said, no, 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 you tune your guitar to uh, open E. And that's what Dwayne did. And all of a sudden a great big light went on. I'm able to strum a chord like this with one hand. And strum up here to change chords. So that gave me a very large landscape, if you will. Uh, to play uh, in the open chord, which lends itself very nicely to slide guitar. Another great influence was uh, a blues guy from the 50s named Elmar James, and he did this lick, which probably everyone that's heard of rock blues and blues and heard it before has heard this lick. That was Elmore James. So he sort of invented that lick, and many players adapted to it and wrote songs around it and used it all the time, including me, of course, many times. So I am going to uh, give you a little example of the G tuning using my, uh, uh, this is called a hip shot tuner. I'm going to push down on these levers here. There's one here. I don't know if you can see it. And push down there and push down there and then pull this lever up here. And that changes my tuning from open D to open G. Not 100% perfect, but in the ballpark close enough quickly tune it to fine tune it. All right. There is a guy named Mississippi Fred McDowell. Uh, can you guess where he comes from? That's right, Mississippi. Uh, and he was a unique player, a very simple, fundamental, primitive player, but really, really original and very cool. I Enjoyed him a lot. 
he became quite famous and influenced a lot of people when he got older. So here's a little bit in the style of Mississippi Fred McDowell.
So that's a little bit of uh, Mississippi Fred McDowell flavor. I was uh, jumping on, stomping on some pedals down here, a little bit distracting because I'm at a weird angle. But that's okay. I'm just wondering why things may have looked a little weird there for a sec. Uh, another thing I did for uh, you music students, uh, music, if you're interested in a little bit of very simple technique, um, there's a thing I do that I uh, borrowed or stole from a guy from Louisiana. His uh, name is Sonny Landerth, so I must give him credit for this. I'm sure he was influenced somewhere, but there's a little uh, thing I do where I scrape the strings behind the slide, and it creates a kind of a funny little cool effect. So if you can see my finger right here, my pointer finger, forefinger, I'm scraping the strings behind the slide right here, and I sort of palm, lightly palm the strings uh, with my right hand. So it goes like this, and that's a one chord and a five chord, playing the harmonics are sort of intensified or louder than the other notes, fundamental notes. I do is uh, I do a real simple version of playing actually fretting the notes for you guitar players behind the slide so it goes from being a simple Elmore James thing to kind of another another place and here's the behind the slide I take my forefinger again and I push down so it touches the fret So if you're interested in where that came from, um, go on YouTube and type Sonny Landreth, L-A-N-D-R-E-T-H, Sonny, S-O-N-N-Y. And uh, that's where I got it. I heard him play like that one day, and I thought it was another, wow, what is he doing? So I had to, needed to check that out, and sure enough, uh, I kind of figured a little bit out myself, and a friend of mine who happened to be a neighbor down that way in Louisiana, uh, uh, showed me the technique. And so I spent years doing that. And then one thing I found, if you're heavily influenced, uh, me as a professional, I've made a living for many years. If you get influenced too much by one artist, because you love them so much, I mean, that's a normal thing. Pretty soon you start sounding like that artist and any of your own personality sort of gets blocked because you want to sound like this guy or gal so much. And so that's not necessarily a good thing. It, it's a good thing to help develop your own voice and your own style. But I found that after a while, I had to stop listening to Dwayne Allman. God rest his soul. I love him. He's so such a, an amazing influence. But I had to stop listening to him because I was trying to be Dwayne Allman. And I had to stop listening to Sonny Lander because I was trying to be Sonny Landreth, and so on and so on. So it's not easy, but eventually you find your own voice. So th those peop people out there that may consider doing it as a hobby or for a living or uh, playing in a band on the side, keep that in mind. But it's okay to sound like other people too. If you really want to do that, interpret their style, there's nothing wrong with that. So there are many choices. All right, speaking of choices, what else do we have here?
I think I'll put my standard tuning guitar back on. Squeaky microphone. All right, so, excuse me, what have we here? Funk, blues, and E. Hmm, 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 hmm. Let's give that a try. Let's get <laughs> funkified. E. Now, you guys be nice when you play your groove. Here we go. of you guys.
little bit of the funk thing. All right. Let's, uh, I'm going to try another guitar. Tell it. One of my other tellies. This is a Fender Telecaster for anybody who uh, may be interested. It's kind of a modern version of a 50s, not a reissue, just uh, I think it's a 2017 model, kind of looking a bit like an old timer. 50s that are worth a lot of dough. All right, what else do we have here? Jump Blues, oh my. Let me see, key. Jump Blues in B flat. Oh no, here we go. Thank you. 
the jump thing. Or as I say, or some people say where I come from, the jump thing and that. All right, what else do we have here? I'm seeing uh, swing rock. I don't even know what that is. Let's find out what that is. Here we go. Oh my, oh my. Oh yeah. All right. I didn't like that groove. A little on the stiff side. What have we here? Medium rock blues in D. Hmm. These are just tracks uh, not made for records. They're more made for demonstrations. Sort of like what I'm doing right now. So maybe I'll demonstrate... Some rock blues in D. All right, that's what it's telling me to do. So I take my tuner, my hardware tuner. I push this lever down, and I pull this lever up, and I pull this lever up, and I have open D tuning on my slide guitar. Okay. What's this going to sound like? Let's give it a shot.
the door I ain't answering the phone Got a happy legend To chase my blues away But that woman wouldn't come back to me No matter how hard I pray So I'm right at the end of the tunnel Thank you. 
<laughs> All right, that'll about do it for uh, Down for Dell, episode eight. Thank you so much for listening, and I look forward to playing more guitar from you the next time. Take care. Bye-bye.